Chicago is commonly known as Chirac for a reason. It's one of the deadliest cities in America, and the South Side, in particular, is known for crime and gun violence. Many artists affiliated with the Chicago drill scene have fallen victim to this fate and have been killed due to their association with gangs and street crime. Here is a look at some of the prominent rappers from Chicago who have been killed by gun violence. King Von Devon Daquan Bennett, better known by his stage name King Von, was an artist born in the Parkway Garden Homes, a housing project known by locals as O Block. O Block is famous for being the birthplace of Chief Keith and other popular drill rappers. It's also a stronghold for the Black Disciples, one of the largest and most violent gangs in Chicago. Vaughn's father was also the victim of gun violence, a detail he raps about on his song Exposing Me and Chef G's Picasso. He was allegedly a member of the Black Disciples and went to prison at the age of 16 for unlawful possession of a firearm. He was childhood friends with another popular drill artist, Lil Durk, and signed to his label OTF, Only the Family, after being released from prison. On the OTF label, he released his breakout single, Crazy Story, in 2018 and went on to collaborate with a variety of popular artists from the city like Polo G and G Herbo. He released his debut album, Welcome to Old Block, on October 30th, 2020, and a week later, he was tragically killed outside of an Atlanta nightclub. Vaughn had relocated to Atlanta a few years earlier to focus on rapping and stay away from some of the negativity that came with his life back in Chicago. But unfortunately, he couldn't escape it entirely. On November 6, 2020, Vaughn, along with four other men, was shot outside of the Monaco Hookah Lounge in downtown Atlanta. Two of the men sustained injuries, but Vaughn, along with one of his friends, was killed. The shooting occurred after a fight broke out between a group associated with Vaughn and a group associated with popular Savannah, Georgia rapper, Quando Rondo. Security footage from outside the hookah lounge shows Vaughn walking up to Rondo and punching him in the face. A member of Rondo's camp named Timothy Leakes, aka Lil Tim, has been arrested in connection with the shooting. In a song called End of Story that Rondo released to YouTube, he claims that the shooting was self-defense and that his team was just firing back after Vaughn attacked them. It's not entirely clear why Vaughn and Rondo had beef, although it's been suggested that it may have something to do with Rondo's mentor, NBA Youngboy. Rondo recently signed the Youngboy's Atlantic imprint, Never Broke Again. King Von posted a picture on Instagram with Youngboy's ex-girlfriend, Jania. Although Von claims that the two were only making music together, fans have speculated that this sparked drama between Von and the Baton Rouge artist. Von claimed that it was just a disagreement and that he and Youngboy had no real beef. In an interview with DJ Academics, Von's manager claimed that the beef originated from comments that Rondo had made on social media that Vaughn didn't like, and when the two saw one another in person, things got heated. Lil Tim is being held at Grady Hospital in Atlanta, where he's recovering from a gunshot wound. This story is still unfolding, and more developments are likely to come in the next few weeks or months. Trey Savage Can Trey Young, better known as Trey Savage, was an artist and producer from the Chatham neighborhood on the south side of Chicago. Savage was best known for his association with Chief Keith and is credited as one of the original members of Glow Gang. His most popular songs include tracks like Know Who I Am and Faces. He was also a known member of the Black Disciples. Savage was raised by his grandmother in the Chatham neighborhood. His father was killed more than a decade ago and his mother had passed away from an illness before that. By all accounts, Trey Savage was one of the more laid back members of GBE and wasn't known for the same kinds of social media taunting and violent threats that many of his associates had been known for. However, that didn't stop him from falling a victim to gun violence. At 11 a.m. on July 19, 2020, Trey Savage was dropping off his girlfriend on the 8100 block of South Evans Avenue in Chatham and was shot multiple times in the head and neck by a passing vehicle. A white SUV was seen swerving away from the scene. Savage attempted to pull out and drive after the shooters, but he struck three nearby cars and totaled his own. He was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where he was later pronounced dead. As of yet, no one has been arrested or charged with the killing. While he was a known member of the Black Disciples, family members and associates have reported that he was mild-mannered and didn't have beef with any other artists or local gangs. It's been speculated that his killing was simply due to his affiliations with other GBE and Black Disciple members and wasn't the result of his actions alone. It's been suggested online that a local set of the Gangster Disciples, a rival gang to the Black Disciples, called Evans Mob, has taken credit for the killing. This is allegedly the same set that shot Lil Reese in the neck back in 2019. The set is known to have beef with BD and GBE members, and Trey Savage may have been killed simply to send a message to his associates. 
Chatham is a rough area, it's not uncommon for well-known gang members like Savage to be shot just to boost the killer's reputation. It seemed as though Savage just happened to be at the wrong place, at the wrong time, and was spotted by rival ops who saw this as a chance to send a message or improve their standing in their own gang. Trey Savage was 26 years old and left behind two sons. No one has been arrested in connection with the killing as of yet, and the investigation is still ongoing. FBG Duck Carlton D. Weekly, also known as FBG Duck, was a drill artist who grew up on the south side of Chicago. Duck grew up on 63rd and St. Lawrence, just around the corner from the infamous O Block. However, Duck was a known member of the Gangsta Disciples and Flyboy Gang, the rival gang of the Black Disciples, and a known enemy of other prominent Chicago drill rappers like Chief Keith, Lil Durk, and Lil Reese. FBG Duck was a lesser known drill artist who had been picking up steam over the last few years. His debut project, Different Personalities, was released in 2015 and he allegedly just signed a $1.7 million record deal with Sony. Duck was also a well-known figure in Chicago gang culture and had been going back and forth with Lil Durk and diss tracks for years. Duck and King Von had also gone back and forth through music and on social media and the beef between the Black Disciples and Gangsta Disciples has been well documented both in music and in the streets. Duck was shot and killed in broad daylight around 4.30 p.m. on August 4, 2020. He was shopping with his girlfriend and a friend on Oak Street in Chicago's Gold Coast, one of the safest areas in the city and district that is known for its designer boutiques and high-end shopping. According to police, two cars pulled up and four individuals got out. They quickly shot Duck and the two people he was with, then got back in the car and fled the scene. Duck tried to retaliate, but the gun he had on him jammed and he could not get the shots off in time. He was transported to a local hospital where he was later pronounced dead. His friend and girlfriend also sustained injuries and were brought to the same hospital in critical condition. The killing was quite shocking to those familiar with the area because it did not occur in a violent neighborhood associated with crime. It was clearly a targeted killing and occurred in one of the richest areas in the city. No one has been arrested for the killing, even though there were numerous witnesses and security footage of the shooting. However, Fans and speculators have suggested that his death was related to the long-standing beef Duck had with rival BD members. A few weeks prior, on July 10th, Duck released a song called Dead Bitches, where he openly disrespected several dead members of the Black Disciples. In the song, Duck directly named slain BD members T-Roy, Lil Boo, and Lil Steve, as well as O.D. Perry, a Chicago legend who O-Block is named after. It's been suggested that after releasing this song, Duck had a million dollar hit put out on his head by the Black Disciples. Allegedly, hours before the shooting, authorities had been notified that Duck had been dissing enemies on the internet and that they should expect some kind of retaliation. Immediately after news of Duck's passing, several high profile BD members took to social media to mock or disrespect Duck, adding fuel to the rumors that it was a retaliation. Chief Keef's cousin Tato dedicated an entire IG story to mocking FBG Duck, making references to smoking on a duck pack, a common diss used in Chicago to refer to smoking the ashes of a dead enemy. Lil Durk tweeted R.I.P. Nooski in reference to his dead cousin who was a common target of GD rappers like Duck. So clearly, even if these rappers were not involved, they are also not sorry to hear about the passing of another Chicago native. As of yet, the case remains cold and police have not arrested any suspects. Although the internet seems to think Dirk and members of GBE may have had something to do with the killing, in reality, it could have been anyone. Duck openly disrespected an entire roster of BD members, and so it's not entirely surprising that someone retaliated. What is shocking is that the murder happened on a busy block in a safe, well-populated area. But that may have been intentional because the killers knew he likely wouldn't see it coming. Developments in this case are ongoing. This high-profile killing will likely spark more tensions between BD and GD sets and retaliation for the shooting will likely occur. However, as of yet, FBG Duck's killers are still at large and no one from the BD camp has faced consequences for this particular shooting. 